Yeah, working with Kanye, I learned so many things. I think the value of collaboration is one of the most primary things that I learned working with Kanye. Kanye will bring the best person in every field, you know, to work on one piece of art, you know? So that might be the person with the illest drums. Then you got the person who is the illest with the synthesizers and melodies. You know, then somebody who is wicked with the bars. That's where I came in with Kanye. It was just like being a real technician lyrically. Um, but then you have someone who is a TV writer. So just approaches writing from an entirely different perspective. Um, everyone's a creative director. And uh, and everything is an opportunity for a creative direction. That's, that's something I definitely have learned from Ye. Um, references, you know, that, that your pool of reference and how ill it is, is a major key piece of creativity. Obviously, you want to be original, but nothing's really original under the sun, you know? So building upon references and stacking ideas, you know, it's like something that I learned from Kanye and Virgil, you know, like just watching, just sitting there in the studio and seeing Kanye and Virgil and Heron Preston and Jerry Lorenzo, just like they had this run in email thread where they would just send like countless images, just images, 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 images. It could be everything from like a, I don't know, like Tchaikovsky symphony to like just a photograph somebody took of a truck yesterday. And that with like helmet Lang first season clothing with like, you know, I don't know, some horror movie Im images, like just a deep, deep, base of references to pull from um, and the one thing I learned from Kanye more recently really was like to strive to make your art reflect many different emotions and sentiments at one time you know it was like the song hurricanes we were working on it and so he had me writing a few verses and first the directive was to write more about like the violence in chicago and things that were happening in streets there so I took it one direction like that that was pretty pretty heavy and like pretty dark. And then, you know, came back and he was like, I want it to be more about like, you know, what's going on with like my wife. And uh, so we did something like that and I came back. And he had a different note, like he wanted to be more lighthearted, more funny. And I was like, which one is it? You know, do you want it to be about what's happening in Chicago? Do you want it to be about your wife? Do you want it to be funny? And he was like, all of them. And I was like, ah, oh, for real though, you know? Like that, that hit different because I was like, these things seem conflicting to me, you know? Like these, these suggestions, like they seem to be in conflict with each other. And that's kind of the point though, that you want a great song to be in conflict with itself at times. Like you want different ideas, you know, to all be able to live. Like you want it yeah, to reference where we come from, what's happening outside. You want it to be personal to our families and our family lives. You want it to make somebody laugh at the same time. You want it to do all that shit.